whole Natalie Klein situation that's unfolded this past week. Uh, she is the Utah State Board of Education member that's under fire after uh, a social media post went out uh, where a Granite School District high school basketball player was targeted and basically Klein was implying that this student was transgender. Klein is an elected official and everyone from students to state lawmakers they're calling for her resignation. The Granite School Board even passed a resolution demanding that Klein resign and just this afternoon the Utah House and Senate voted to censor her as well as Governor Cox saying that he thinks that she needs to resign. Now we heard from some Granite School District parents who say that this issue could cause distrust between parents and the school system. I wrote to the board and told them my feelings as a constituent of Natalie Klein that I felt like she needed to resign. You can't harm a child like that and expect to stay in your position. We have faith that our school districts are educating our students and we, we send our students to school with a lot of hope that they're going, that, they're, that not, not only their education will be um, prioritized, but they themselves, the students themselves will be um, in an environment where they feel, um, they feel empowered to be who they are. Okay, so a lot of parents are saying uh, that uh, school board positions should be nonpartisan to protect the students. And if you are wondering if it ends there, it really doesn't because Klein is still posting on social media, doubling down, uh, calling herself a victim now. Yeah, it's gotten, I mean, so many people have spoken out, but Klein seems pretty firm. We'll see if that changes in the future, but she says she's not going anywhere, that mm. she isn't going to step down. She's issued something of an apology for it, but she says she's not going to step down and that she's going to continue to run for re-election. And my understanding is basically she can't be forced out. You know, no yeah. vote by the Board of Education is going to kick her out. If she doesn't resign, she's there until voters have election day. Okay, well, at this point, people can scan the QR code. Yeah, you can scan the code. We put out a poll there. Uh, do you think Natalie Klein is a victim in this situation? As she has said, pretty strong feelings there. Many people have voted, over 500 people so far. 88% say Natalie Klein is not a victim. 12% saying yes, as you see there.